Three likes already, I fuck with that. Yo. Starting to show three likes, I fuck that early on. What up, must I catch, catch any of the, any of Mania? I just watched the, I want to say like the second half of night two. Mm. Or a little bit more than the second half, maybe of night two. I don't know. I forgot what match was on when I started watching. Uh, I think it was the triple threat match. But, um, uh, I right. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. was fine. That was that show was amazing. So, uh, probably like uh, I haven't watched the other ones, but it's probably my favorite match of the weekend. And I heard the the women's one on Saturday was fire. Oh man, like yeah, it, it was both matches were dope, but that match actually was really fucking dope. They did the, I think Shame, yeah, Shame is at one point like chops that was that was chest for like twenty, for like a twenty oh, count, yeah. and that shit was tight, dog. I can't believe I was in a countdown with like eighty thousand people. That shit was fucking nuts alive, dog. That shit had a real pop to it. That match was really fun. Um, yeah, yeah, Mania was something different, dog. I really like Night One too, though. Night One had some dope ass matches, bro. I, like one has some, some I was supposed to get on Monday and then Tuesday, but you know, Korean TV is addicting, so um, I did not get a chance to watch WrestleMania. Yeah, check it out. Hey, shout out to Eric. So, so he said, I right, got you guys on my laptop, my phone, and my work laptop. He's like, about to put y'all on three of my TVs for the algorithm. Saturday night, phone over Sunday night. I fucked with you. Hey, good looking out for Eric. That's Always good. fucking with us. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, hey, 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 hey uh, Thunder Bucket 33. Nah, you need to chill. You need to chill with that shit. Uh, I can't time you out here, but <laughs> you need to chill. Uh, yeah, n- Night One was dope. Though. Night Two was super dope. That's a, actually, I, w- I went to Night Two, and, and that was the first time I was ever at SoFi. Oh, that was your first time? Nice. Yeah. That motherfucker is humongous, son. That shit's yeah. big, big, bro. I went uh, for, a, for a Rams game and I sat all the way at the top, kind of, or close to the top. I can't remember, but I remember <laughs> sitting on top and I'm like, damn, this is high. Like, this is high up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, shout out, shout out, George. Uh, George is not going to be with us today. He, he got a little Sunday for nothing. The stuff was going around. So I hope you feel better. But um, but yeah, shout out, George, man. Like, that food, that food lifts, me, lifts me down. He had extra tickets for some, for night two, so I ended up copying from him. We had some real nice seats, like <coughs> dead in the middle, dead in the middle. We look real dope view. That shit was tight. That was my first mania. That was my first time at SoFi. That shit was real dope. Ended up fucking doing uh, raw last night too. That shit was fucking dope. Nice. That shit was really dope. So I had a lot of wrestling going on this weekend, which was fucking sick. Felt like a little kid for a little bit there and shit, you know what I mean? Chain for grown man, for instance, over the top rope. That shit was fucking tight. Yeah, hey, that was like a good time to me. Yeah, man. What's up with you? Uh, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait until we get to the show because I wanted, I do want to hear about uh, Miles Morales. I do want to hear how that went down, like how you guys finished it and in, in, uh, in his reaction this whole time. So I'm gonna wait until we start with the show for that because I want, I know about that. But let's crack you catch the race. I didn't. So I cut my cable, and I thought the show was gonna be on the SPN Plus. Mm. I look for it, and they're like, "Your cable subscription is not valid to watch." Yeah. <laughs> they finally decided to fucking put it on the main TV. Usually, I never had an issue with that though. 
Um, I guess no Formula One for me. For no, 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 no. Let's link up. Uh, I'll take the chat and I'll, s- I'll send you. I got a, I got F1 TV for the same reason. So I subscribed for the whole year. So you can just watch it on that shit. I only have a limited amount of fucking of accounts or simultaneous, simultaneous streams and shit. But I'll, I'll, I'll let you up so you can watch the season. They got a bunch of docs there too. There's up to watch. It, so hit me up and I'll send it to you. Yeah, sure, sure. yeah I uh, I heard it was a good up? race. Mm, no, that shit was so wild. That just that shit was a wild ass race. Though. I felt I felt sad for fucking Russell. I feel mad for fucking Leclerc because he's dumbass. Verstappen is stupid. He's just dumb, different level right now. But fuck, dog, that was, that that race was so choppy. Like v- virtual car after the first the first lap, Leclerc goes out to the fucking gravel. Right, throws the shit on the gravel to the fucking uh, to 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 the track, like where the racing line's at. So they go the rec, uh, ref flag like early on. Mad like then there's like there's another ref flag for somebody else goes off. Ref flag for that shit, and then on the restart with two laps left, this fucking carnage like six cars go off at the end. Uh, that shit was just disgusting. That shit ended with uh with the safety. Nah, I didn't end up with safety car. Uh, because it had another red flag but it started with two it started be, it started behind the race car or the safety car but mm-hmm. it went in one lap before okay. one lap before so it was like one lap and, yeah one and you lap. couldn't and you couldn't overtake until the race until until the start line and by that time that race was finished so like it was dumb like the way it ended it was, was dumb that, as fuck it was that already when that yeah. when that safety car went in it was a rap, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a rap. Uh shout out Agent, what up boys? Uh Rooney. Oh duh. <laughs> oh, I heard you you got oh, lost. Oh duh. I get lost, duh. I didn't get lost, man. I right. Okay, you couldn't find your exit. It's the same yeah, thing. Uh, it don't trip, uh, dog. You know no, what? Let me, I, it wasn't me. It wasn't me though. I mean it was no, I, 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 I get it. <laughs> this happened you to me it? in Vegas. <laughs> Like I get it, dog. Like I couldn't find my way out, and nothing made sense. So we we were in some some club in Vegas, right? And it was late already. I was tired, and I'm trying to get out. So I had to go take a piss. But uh, your brother and Rooney had left. <laughs> I walked outside, right? And listen to him with who, who I'm with. Dog. Yeah, so yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm in it's a already trouble. Club. I walk out the restroom, and I'm looking around. And it's a open, it's a like a, you can see the buildings from the within the club, right? Because there's like a outdoor space. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I walk out the back and I'm looking for a door and I'm like, damn, bro, I really thought <laughs> I'm going to be out here. Tell me why, like, I couldn't find the exit because I assume that where there's fresh air, I'm going to be able yeah, to get out. Exit. Nope. <laughs> and I couldn't find my way out. And I'm like, damn, dog. I'm like, yo, I text, uh, I think I text Jeremy or Rooney. I'm like, yo, where you was at? And he was like, oh, we're outside. Meet us outside. And I was like, dog, like, where's the exit? Like, I can't find the exit. And this was replied, like, what you mean? Just go out the same way you came back in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, and so I walked out the same way I went in and I found the exit. Like, just, <laughs> nah, <laughs> you don't <laughs> say. <laughs> it did not click. Oh, man. All right. All right. That's so wild. That's it. All right, let's, let's get a uh, get the motherfucking show started, though. Yo, what up? And welcome to another episode of Straight from the Stands, an unapologetic, unofficial LA Galaxy podcast, hosted by four five my supporters who bring you the thoughts and views on everything related to LA Galaxy straight from the stands i am your co-host smarts alongside the always angry angel his counterpart level-headed george and the man with the facts masa this is straight from the stands good evening good evening damn is the skeleton crew today y'all on youtube you can see it's only me and masa for everybody in the pod listening later uh skeleton crew Skeleton crew, some of the boys got, got a little sick, so George and hey, Angel, hope y'all feel better. Um, hopefully they're back in the pod next week. Masa, I know you ain't feeling all that great, but thanks for fucking hopping on so we can at least yeah, keep I mean, it going. I was meant to 
say I was out, and then I seen George post it first, and then I seen Angel say like, "Oh, I was gonna say out too," and I was like, "Ah, we can't." I I didn't want to like, like yeah. you know, I had a a lot to say about this fucking game, so I was like, "Nah, I'm, I, I'm in." Nah, uh, uh, yeah. Listen, I, I was I was hoping somebody hopped on because because I mean we've been consistent so far, so I was hoping to keep it going, and I'm like that. Um, how you doing? How's the weekend? I'm chilling, baby. Uh, you know what? The weekend was all right up until I got sick, mm. or like I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it you was, get the, get the on Sunday. Piece. I basically slept all day, and you know that I'm not the type of motherfucker yeah. that likes to sleep at all. At least not during the day. Like I could go to sleep like at one, two in the morning. And I'm up at five or yeah, six, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I I couldn't, bro. Like I got up at five thirty, right, normal shit, and I went back to bed like at eight, and I slept till twelve. Then I took a nap like at three or four or whatever, and then I took another nap at eight thirty. Then I went to fucking bed again. That's like wild. Uh, and, that, and and like legit, like that, that's not that that ain't you, right? Yeah, like, that's like me. That's like every every weekend, but you know like, that, that ain't you. Uh, so again, Dal, thanks thanks for hopping on because sure. I be I be asleep as well. Um, yo. I saved it for right now because I want to hear about this. You and the little man uh, passed uh, Mal Morales. Yeah, yeah just finished Mal Morales. They're on spring break right now, right? And he's been playing Spider Man. Obviously, when he needs help, he tells me, "Can you help me?" And yeah, honestly, I haven't like been in the mood to play anything at all lately. Oh yeah. But then, like, we just started. Pl- yeah. And then we started. <laughs> we started playing, and he's like, "Can you help me with this?" So like, the more I did, like, he got pretty far on his own. I want to say he did like. So I had a file already, and I'm, it was probably like 20% done mm-hmm. when I started it. And then he played off of that, and then he likes to delete shit. So he deleted it, and then I was like, yo, why did you delete it? He's like, oh, because I want to play from the beginning. And I was like, you know, there's like different slots that you can start all <laughs> over, right? But like when I, when, I, when I booted up again, like I seen that he had already made it further than, further than what it was. Yeah, but then when I left it, so I was like, "All right, cool. At least he got me there." Because he did that to Mario Odyssey. Uh, he he game, did right? <laughs> he did all the slots. Oh. And I told him, oh, "I ain't gonna help shit. you. I ain't gonna help you." <laughs> That's just hard after a bit. <laughs> no, but he he got he gets better and better. So every time he yeah. plays, he gets better. Go advance or whatever. So Spider Man too, but like he was close to the end already, and I think he was up. And this game been out for a while to where Rhino's at. I think you face Rhino. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like, can you help me with this? And I didn't realize how close, to, at least to the main story, right? Because there's a lot yeah. of side, side missions, do, yeah. Whatever. And so I was like, all right. So we played an hour yesterday. And then today we ended up playing for a little while longer. And it, it's like, this is your last mission. Like, are you sure you're like, you got you your ready for it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh damn, we're about to pass. I was like, fuck it, let's let's just get it over with, you know? Yeah. So we played it today. It was dope. Like the the game itself, I think Spider Man, the the one I played on the PS4, and then this Miles Morales version of it, it, it was fun. It's it's short, but it's fun and it was a good story. I think it's a good story. I I enjoyed the ending. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. I, I, I like both of them, so I'm excited for, for the next one coming up. Uh remind me again, how old is this here? He's six. Yeah, see, that's fucking tight. Cause that that's a triple A game, and I think at the end it gets a little hard and shit. So the fact that yeah. it, that he got through the whole thing, I mean, with your help or not, that thing's super dope. So that's fucking yeah. dope, man. Um, I'll just be quick. I I had a dope ass weekend, and bled into yesterday. Uh, I was like a fucking fourteen year old kid, and I ended up going to Mania on night two. That shit was that shit was wild. It, not only was it Mania wild, but also like. It was the first time I ever seen Hell in a Cell in person, which was, that was super fucking dope. Uh, the first time at SoFi, I hadn't been to SoFi, so like that shit was dope. And then I seen a gang of motherfuckers. Uh, actually, we saw we saw the whole uh, the whole of the Galaxy podcast line, right? Because I, I hanged out with the Night Boys for a little bit, and then I, sh- I saw uh, Ed from uh, from r- the the Rice Squad cast. Uh, so that was it, man. Overall, that shit was dope as fuck. And then I got to go raw yesterday. Which is also fucking dope as fuck until I got my ear blown out by the fireworks. But <laughs> I ain't even try to talk. I ain't try to talk about that. George and Rooney, hello, hello. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, 
That show is tight, dog. I had a what's up? My bad, interrupt you, but it's uh, no, no, no. WrestleMania related. Okay. So you saw Eddie at Mania, Mania right? Yeah, yeah, Eddie yeah. Nack? Yeah. Was he like King Kong drunk? Nah, or... nah, okay, nah. Just right, but, sure. but but to be fair though, to be fair, I saw him night two like around four thirty, right? I heard night. Well, actually, not even, right? I, I just saw the fact that he was having mad mariscos in the morning, so I know night one had been dope, you know what I mean? But uh, no, 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 he, 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 was, he was fine. All the boys were fine. We were still good, so yeah. Uh, dope night, man. Dope weekend of wrestling. Yeah, that show's tight. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday's Raw was fucking something else. There was a churn at the end that I wasn't expecting, so it got me, and I was just, yeah, that show's cool. Um, shout out Rooney, shout out George. That show's a fun weekend. Um, you know what wasn't fun though? The G's taking the L. That uh, was not fun. Not uh, fun but we'll, we'll we'll get into that right now. Those before we do, at yeah, least, yeah. Hold, on, hold 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 on. Uh, no, no, no. It, it's all good. I just kind of I, I was gonna go right into it, but do want to talk about uh new signing? We ended up getting a new signing. Uh. A goalkeeper. Oh shit! I forgot about this motherfucker. To be honest, uh, a goalkeeper, a goalkeeper loan with an option to buy for Novak Mitrovic. Maybe I might have got that right. Maybe, Maybe fucked it up. Uh, now nah, here I'm gonna fuck this one up for sure. He comes from FC Chu. <laughs> Churachi, Churachi, Churaki, Chacarita, Chacarita from SC Chacarita. It's a sh- sh- yeah, <laughs> Serbian Super League, the team for Serbian Super League. Man, young kid, right? Like twenty one years old. He has like thirty six games, 14, 14 clean sheets for 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 the Cascaritas and shit. Uh, played in league, played in cup, played in the conference league. All that. I all, yeah, yeah, he played conference league. Mm, that's all that, all that is thumbs up. Yeah, but we have Bond, we have Klinsman, and now Mitrovic. Yeah, that's that. Uh, isn't that too much surplus? Uh, I think it was. I mean, not really a panic signing because of Klinsman's injury. And it was apparent during the game. At you least think so? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Um, but I mean, Mance has a broken finger, you know. But he's still suited up, and he said, "Fuck it, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play." Yeah, which I like that. Uh, yeah, I like that too. Um, I think that's the only reason we bring in the goalkeeper, though. Especially because it's a loan, you know. It's not even like a loan with the with the obligation buy at the end. Nah, of the it's time. an option. But like, uh, it's, it's it's an option. So, it's a milli. It's a, it's a milli, though. You know what I mean? It's a milli. It's a milli fee for for the loan over here. Go the milli, baby. We got find the milli. <laughs> you know, fuck it. Let's just give our money here. It, I it may, I just want to. It's hard to imagine that we couldn't find a local, a local stopgap, right? Like, cause cause we don't. Okay, Bond bon is coming back. Gap. I don't think so. Like maybe a salary. I don't think the Serbian and I'm not no expert in the Serbian league. Uh, but I don't think this the in Serbia. I don't think they pay maybe as high as they might in yeah. in, in MLS, especially in MLS. It's like well, depending who you yeah. are in MLS, right? Yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah, fuck that. Chicken new get seven hundred k, dog. Never mind. You're right. You're fuck. You're one hundred percent right, dog. <laughs> but uh, everything's relevant. It might be, it might be, you know, he might come on like a short, like a a small pay, and it's a loan. They might, we might cover a hundred percent wages, or we might not. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't we know. We don't, how that, we don't know how that structure. Yeah, it it it's just a weird. I don't. Uh, maybe it is right. Like maybe maybe it is longer for for Bond, and maybe he's maybe Klinsman just hanging on until he gets here to fucking yeah. to kind of you know go into rehabilitation I mean, for his finger. Be better by the time this fool lands, anyway. So yeah, I mean, you tape that motherfucker up. You can play with a broken pinky, though. Uh, but we'll talk about that right now. It's interesting. 150. Uh, well, he cost us not only the million dollar fee for 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 the loan, but it's also 150k that we shot over to Austin for an international spot for him, right? 
because we yeah. had acquired yet another one. Um, remind me, do you, on top of your head, do you remember how much we gave Seattle for the last one? 100K, right? Or was yeah. it 150? I think it was 100K each, so it's 300K yeah. in total. Which is cheap compared to previous seasons. Yeah. I remember them going for 300k at the beginning of the season and 150k during the summer. So 150k for half a season. Uh, so this season where it's a 150k for the full season, that sounds like a bargain. But I think that's just what they're going for. Maybe right. And, and, and again, because because we've seen other teams and and us include included pay more for for transfer fees. Knowing this galaxy situation, this feels if it feels it doesn't feel expensive to go off and get an international speed for 100k. Uh, it is interesting, right? Because how many more international spots are, are 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 out there that we could get for that? And sure I, ass- couple, I mean, I'm assuming like we w- so, wait, say it again, real quiet. it's not like we're making signings, anyways. So, yo, well, we have to, right. Oh I man, mean, shut the fuck up. Like, we need a fucking signing, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and we'll get into it right now. I feel like we're one winger away from being oh. competitive. Yo, what, what you on today? What kind of cool are you on today, dog? You trying to take my job? A, a lot of positive <laughs> shit this weekend. I didn't right, see uh, it prior to the game, but I saw a lot of positive shit this weekend. Uh, Novak Mitrovic uh, awaiting visa. So as soon as he gets his visa in three months, weeks, we should be, we should see him. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it's moving right. Uh, well, Maybe, it's been over two uh, weeks for for all there, so. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it's well, been two weeks. I mean, it has been two weeks. Possibly, possibly, but I'm pretty sure he's landing this week. This week he's here. He'll probably play Houston. Probably um, play Houston. you think so, huh? Yeah. It's Tuesday. Yeah, he'll play. Cause I uh, got some uh, news from training today. Someone that went to yep. training. Said that uh, Raheem Edwards got hurt today. Shut the fuck up. Shut mm-hmm. the fuck up. Mm-hmm. That's what I heard. I don't know how true that is. Whoever, if anyone went to training today, can you confirm in the fucking chat that Raheem Edwards got hurt today? So uh, I'm assuming that he's going to play this weekend. If, because he's, he said his goodbyes this weekend. Julian Alde said oh, yeah? his goodbyes this and I mean, he's moving. So I'm assuming he's flying in this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's a safe bet. Um, oh, that, that what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Is a how many injuries in, and we're five weeks in? It's all good, baby. It's slowly coming back. It's slowly coming back. Eric, Eric Ampo says, Source, trust me, fool. <laughs> trust me, fool. I fucks with that. Uh, man, I hope so. I hope so. I hope we'll owe this Eric because if Eric's down, what? Who's next in line? Aguirre. <laughs> Aguirre's the next left back. Uh, Johnny Perez. I'm Johnny kidding. Perez. Oh, <laughs> oh man! All right. Uh, l- 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 let's go. Let's go into. Let's go into Seattle versus. Oh shit! I'm not even ready. Dog. Look at me. Who are you? Let's go into Seattle versus. Uh, let's go recap in the Seattle match. All right. I'll figure out how to talk in between today. Uh, all right. Here we go, though. All right, let's versus, do it. Se- versus Seattle, we knew this motherfucker was going to be tough. We knew it was the best team that we had played so far. Uh, and we come out with Klinsman at goal. Cáceres and Neil, center back pairing with Edwards and Caragheri. Brookman, Delgado, and Pooch. Boyd, Memo, and Joe Lick. Um, Pretty safe. Or what we we're, we're Pretty safe. Pretty much what we expected. Um, we're hoping to see maybe Dulas Cosa from start or just any, anybody else, but it was Memo again with the start. Um, and what am I saying? Like, like this, this team, this team didn't, was not shook for by by Seattle. No, not at all. From the jump. Yeah, I, I, uh, I agree, hundred percent. I was it, expecting completely different start to the game mm-hmm. you know but i don't know if because we were at home or whatever it was they were kind of just going at them or trying to go at them they were uh retaining the ball or whatever and trying to create something it wasn't like uh how do you say it 
It wasn't really possession without intent. Like they were trying to yeah. attack Seattle from the jump. Yeah, it, it 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 was it was them dictating the style of play, right? It was them putting the, the, their footprint in the game early and just dictating the way they were gonna play. Yeah. Um, which was super double seat, man. Like, I, cause I wasn't expecting that. Like, I'll be I'll be a hundred percent with you. I thought uh, I thought first five minutes, ten minutes, we'll try to do that, and then Seattle put us on our ass, so we'll forget about it and then just try to do anything. To, to you know, create some chances, but it wasn't like that. It, it, like this team kind of came out and and I won't say dominated, but helped us. No, and, really, and, you know what? It, it kind of was a dominant. When was the first goal scored? Just twentieth minute. The time twentieth minute. I want to say it was dominant fifteen minutes from the galaxy. For me, at least, it wasn't like. I don't think Seattle had anything those mm-hmm. first first twenty minutes, and it was and we were attacking. We looked dangerous. I think they might have had one. I, I can't recall the top. I just remember watching the first five and then ten minutes, and I'm like, damn, what the fuck is going on? Why are we playing so well right now? And then fifteen minutes passed. I'm like, oh, this shit, this is gonna end soon, right? Like we, we're Seattle's eventually gonna react to what we're doing, and then mm. like eighteen minutes prior prior to the goal, so. I'm thinking like, okay, we have a fucking chance here. We're not, we don't look, we don't look like the the second team here. We look like the better team here. Yeah, and and it, and it was some some interesting chance to be created too, where I felt Boyd got it got involved early. Yeah, like Boyd, think, like, like like Boyd seemed think, like he was. Say it again. I think this has been his best game so far. For the yeah, uh, I, I I'm I'm not disagreeing with that. I, I thought and I thought he was active early, which kind of helped us out a lot, right? I thought I thought Memo wasn't wasn't sticking with the ball long, so like he helped the movement, and then our midfield was just kind of doing what they did, like moving the ball around and really getting spaces. Um, I think Calagheri in the in the in the beginning, like in those twenty minutes, like he 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 found the space, he knew exactly where he was going to be at. Um, stayed wide and gave us that width so memo could tuck in and, and, and still have an option out wide so i really liked that in the beginning i i kind of you know i, I wrote that down like his, his movement position is was really good like he he learned he knew when he would make runs and whatnot um i know those there's there like a, a switch that that pushed it from one side to the other and kind of finds him in the space and, and he puts in a decent cross i was trying to remember i think that might have been i think that that's one that if if Brutman lets it go it hits Pooch like on top of the box, and he can rip at it. But it it ends up. I think uh, Bruma ends up touching, it and it goes to Raheem, and and Raheem does what Raheem does. Uh, but like that was Kalayeri, and, and up to that moment, like right up to the twentieth minute, I thought like, yo, like this kid is is, is figuring out. Like he 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 understands what we need from him. And then we just took a fucking nap. We took one play off. Yeah. We took one play off where. I think is 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 Delgado that comes up to press in the midfield. Caleri is looking at that like and doesn't realize his man just kind of left him. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Caceres pushes up. Oh. No, Caceres, Caceres pushes up, and and Neo now is Neo Caleri and 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 Edwards that are like offline. Nobody's in the real line. And who is it? Lodero that that that, that puts the ball. Yeah, they don't uh, I think I think it's I, I don't know who to blame here, but I think Calagetti gets caught in between thinking he had time to press Lodeiro, right? And he live he leaves the that wing right open. And Chu Chu's fast as fuck, man. Like he's fast and then it was a three on three? Whatever. It was three on three? three defenders, right? It was three on three? Yeah. It was three, three, but they they were shifted out right, and we were more towards the middle. And the difference was pace. Yeah, uh, hey, listen, but I don't even think because uh, so here, like before I even get to that, right? Like I'm not gonna put blame on, on Calagheri. I'm not gonna put blame on Casares push, pu- pushing up and pressing that. I'm not putting blame on Neil. Not you know putting a line and sticking to a line. I'm not putting a blame on Brookman not reacting and trying to drop into that into the mid into the mid and 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 create some pressure there. I'm putting this in the whole fucking team because I just mentioned five little mistakes that people made. Yeah. Like, everybody just slept in that play. 
They yeah. just slept, bro. Like, like and, and, and I looked at the replay over and over again, and it's like the intention of trying to win the ball back or get in position to, like, defend was not there from nobody. Like, nobody, nobody. Like, the fact that, like, Calagheri knew he, was, he had a man out wide, but he didn't commit to him or he didn't commit to pressing. He kind of just yeah. stayed in the middle, right? Uh, Cassidy is like just like he does. He does what he does and go push and pushes up. But like, there's not enough communication to get everybody to push up with him, right? Because if everybody pushes up and pushes that line high, they're fucked. But that we lost that line there, right? It's it, it's it's uh, Brugman, it's Pooch, it's it's uh, Delgado not filling in gaps in the middle to kind of to create that shape again when somebody else steps out, right? Because we do none of that, and the other team they don't take a break. That shit was that shit looked mad easy. It did. What Seattle did to us looked mad easy, and it was and again credit to them because the, the ball gets played, puts him in fucking prime position to kind of do, do what he did, right? But like our lack of attention kind of made that too easy. Shout out Shrew because I think more than the pace, I think that pass is fucking slick because it has enough curve to get like get around him. It fucks fucking Klinsman because Klinsman can't come out for that because he has the attackers behind him. He can't show early. As he's fucked, I think it was like it's a good goal. And it's a good goal because we fucking slept. We took one play off. Yep. Yo, like, like this is I. W- We've been talking about it for three weeks now. On uh, how like little moments that we just kind of sleep, right? And whether that's like in the attacking front or defending front, like we're just falling asleep in little moments. And then we played Seattle, Dahu Seattle. Like I don't yeah, think they're. Be. Yeah, they might not be in full stride yet. But that team's still fucking quality because look what they did to us. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, but even with that said, e- e- even even with that goal, the Galaxy continue to be fucking, to be a threat to Seattle and continue to be able to create. They were playing the game at a higher pace than what they've been playing at the beginning mm-hmm. of the season. And I think, I think, where if memos looked better, not great, but better to to what he has been is the fact that he has an overlapping right back. Mm-hmm. So he yeah, yeah, provides the width, and, and you know we have the width, and you know, on top of my head, I was like, man, we need this, we need that, and it was always having that width, and now that we have it. When we attack, we look more dangerous. So it's that was a positive for me. And I mean, Calagetti does it on both ends of the field. So it's just fun to see that he's on our team and that this at least so far the scouting department got it right. On um, yeah, least, him. with with him at least to find yeah. a not necessarily a like for like Julian replacement, but someone who can possibly be better than Julian. Hey, listen, like, like that, that, you know, that take's still out there, right? Because it's too early in the season to make that take. Yeah. But I will tell you this, though, like, if we got somebody who, who, who understands what we're trying to do and can implement that. All right. Like, like we saw it, especially this game, I think we saw it in the positioning, at least going forward more. I, I think there's, and, and we'll talk about the second one right now, but like, there's, you know, he, 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 fell asleep, he falls asleep sometimes, and I think that's fair yeah. for the whole team, right? But like, He's positioning wise going forward. He understands where he needs to be found, and how to release the ball, and and when to take the ball, and when to pass the ball. It, it, and I'm okay with that, man, because he could grow into that. Like he grew into that position, and he doesn't have to be Julian, as long as he understands like what what we yeah. need in that position. You know what I mean? So clutch on that so far. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but again, we in 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 that time span when we get the goal scored on us, uh, we're able to create chances, right? Uh, I. And I think fucking uh, Jovelic like, will want a lot of those back. Well, maybe yeah. not a lot of those, but there's a there's a few of them that, that that like you know, top of my head that I know he want back, right? And, and it's like that first touch or like indecision to kind of to turn his body or give a pass and then move like whatever it was. Like Jovelic like, wasn't wasn't as 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 finesse as he usually is, right? Like where where he could get a shot out or like or get the space to take a shot. It just wasn't happening in the first half. What you what what you think on on Dijon in that first half? I think I think he has to put those away. Like there's no excuses. I mean, 
this is your opportunity, and it's been your opportunity yeah. from the beginning of the season, knowing that the star striker is out and that you say that you're the future of the galaxy or whatever. And then when you on the bench last season, you asked for more minutes mm-hmm. as a player. I, I don't think it's, a, it's an excuse on your second. Is it his second season or? Yeah. Third. Third. Might be his third time. season. It might be third. Yeah, yeah. Or se- I don't know. No, think, whichever season. Whatever but it's it was, not yeah. his <laughs> first season. It's not his first season. Mm-hmm. You already have experience in the league. Uh, you basically scored on half of the teams here. Uh, it shouldn't be an excuse to miss some of these chances that he didn't get to or did not put away or whatever the case may be. If you're asking for more minutes, if you're asking to play more games. If you want to be part of the Serbian national team, um, you know, you you have to put these away. There's no excuse. Yeah, yeah man. And, 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 he, and here, I, I don't want to come out like saying like he, he, he had a bad game. Because right? I don't think he had a bad game. No. I, I, I do, however, think that he needs to be clinical, man. Right? Uh, he needs to be clinical. And just and do more of what he's done before. Like he's having trouble right now. Like even putting shots on frame. That I will, uh, that I at least want to imagine seeing him like always put on frame, right? Like like those balls that are driven to him from the side. Like he's he get he get trying to shoot those all the time. He could first time shoot them. He's not finding that. There was one clear one that I remember. Like that he just skies it and and for what it's worth, that guy needs to be on frame, right? Because yeah. he's getting found that right. Um, now I, I just said I, I I like what what I saw from 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 Boyd this game. I think it's his best game. I still think he it takes a little a little too much space away from 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 Jovalik. and I think especially because it's Jovalik. I think with Charita it will work better, but for him I think he takes he takes a little a little too much space when he gets it on top of the box and he tries to come in and look for a shot. Yeah. Right, like I. I, I a lot of those times I would prefer him to kind of keep going wide and keep stretching that to, to open up that space, right? But sometimes he, he just holds on to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, Douglas Costa like, right? Because I was going to compare him to Efra, but I'd rather not do that. I still like Boyd. Um, but he does come in. He does come in and he does look for, for that, that curling right shot, right? Like coming in and tucking in. And I think sometimes he needs to stay wide. Right, stay wide or make that move go out wide and and link up with whoever's coming behind you or link up with uh Jovalik or whoever your striker is at the time. Um but he does pull in a little bit too a little too much for me. Uh yeah, I agree. But I also like what I saw from him a lot this game. Like he was more aggressive going forward. He was making better runs. Like I think there's a mm-hmm. play in the first half where he takes off and he cuts in down the middle. Bro, I don't remember him. At least up until this game, seeing him run that fast. Like, he what? leaves everyone in the dust. And I forgot how that plays ends. I just remember him cutting down the middle. And he just dusts everyone on that team, on that Seattle team. I think I think he, he touches wide and ends up in, in Raheem. He had, yeah, he had both uh, both Jovalik and, and Raheem against Raheem. I know it doesn't, but is that, like, yo, like, I don't even think he's, I don't think he's fast because I don't think he could do that over, over like, in a, in a foot race. But I think this kid is so explosive because, like, that was his, his one touch. He has one long touch that puts him in front of the defender and then it was gone, right? Because he, he he was able to get, like, those five yards or whatever space he got in between them, like, super quick. And that part, like, it's hard for the defender to catch up. I hadn't seen that, but that's, like, that's exciting, yeah. right? Like, I, I don't think... We, I think we had players, especially like with Cabral and Cabral last season, like or in the season before as well, who had the pace for it. But we knew you couldn't do that. Like you know, we, like even if we got that chance, it's probably not going to end anywhere. I want to see, I want to see Boyd with with more chances like that. Now where you come out, especially if we could, you know, catch him out wide into space like the one like the, he found there. I think he'd be real dangerous, and hopefully more 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 uh more clinical than 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 um the Cabral ever was for us. So. Again, I thought he had a better game. I just kind of don't want to tuck in all the time. I don't mind. I don't mind if you see the space he wants to tuck in and, and try it. Like I want that. I think it's going to that a little too often right now. Kind of kills the 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 development of the play sometimes. Um, that's it though. Forty five minutes. 
on a game that we look that we look like we know what the fuck we're doing. Uh where players are are are, are looking good. Because again, Gallagher, uh, I didn't talk about second goal. Let's talk about second goal actually. Nah, before let's, oh, let's talk about second goal because I'm I'm bugging here. I forgot. Um same same fucking place, right? And and it is it starts in, in in that left side of midfield. And now this time Caligari is actually he he's with um he's there yeah he's yeah, he's with Shu this time like he he's he's in position. But when he makes when Shu makes the initial initial move, there's some contact there. Yeah. Right. There's some contact there. Caligari goes down. Shu gets the ball. Now up to here, bro. Like I, it's all, it's it's all football. Like I, it, nothing is bad. Like I don't think anything is like off here just yet, right? Yeah. He goes down, and you see, you see the Delgado in the vicinity, not too close, right? And you see Brugman also like a little behind him, not too far. The line, other than other, other than Caligari, the defensive line is all there, right? But then Shu picks up the ball and then moves that ball for like 15, 20 yards before anybody actually puts pressure on him. Yeah. I think the boys are waiting for a whistle or Mm-mm. I don't know. They were waiting for that foot to kick it out. I don't fucking know, bro. Like if me personally, if I was playing, I would have cracked that motherfucker. Right. Because Found him. one, he fouled mm-hmm. my guy first, or I think he fouled my guy first. Why the fuck mm-hmm. would my guy be on the floor rolling when he's right next to him? Yep. So I'm letting his ass out. I'll I'll happily get a yellow card. No yellow issue. card flash. Yep. Just the sense of urgency to continue playing is wild to me. Mm-hmm. After all the positive shit that you've done, twenty minutes prior to getting scored the first goal. Right, and this mm-hmm. one lands on the 36th minute or something like that, 35th minute. After you get scored on, you keep playing your game and you're not necessarily dominating, but you're in control of this game. You're creating chances. You're in control of the game. And you're going to let them score a second goal in, in, like you said, moments, right? Yeah. A fucking moment where the whole fucking team, the back line, the midfield fell asleep again, again. And that ends, to me, that ends up costing us the game. Two moments. It's two goals. Like, it, it, straight up, right? And again, I'm not blaming one single person here, right? Because I think Delgado could have got there and made that tackle that you're talking about. I think Brugman, Brugman jogs the whole way through the whole play. And I need Bruma to go in there and, and, and disrupt that. Like when he sees, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we're out of position again. I need him and Delgado to both like be sprinting in to try to get position, put in a tackle, stop like that, run a play. Right? But they don't, n- neither of them do. They both get caught up in no man's land. Um, Cáceres is the one that usually comes out and, and, and puts his whole body in line. And he's super timid when it comes out for the shade, never really closes down and then kind of yeah. just turns his back to it. Um, I think Klinsman should have shuffled his feet before he dives. I think even if he doesn't get, there's a deflection there, but I think even if he gets a deflection there, he's paring that out wide. With a shot that weak, I need him to pick it up regardless, right? Yeah. And if he shuffles his feet to pick it up, he's making that block because now he has that, you know, half a yard more that he got from shuffling your feet. It's, it's, it, it's one moment where the whole team goes to sleep. You think, In the uh, game? Klinsman should have got there? Yeah, yeah. Because again, yeah, I I, without the deflection, I think he, the way he dove, he gets it to parry it out. But from that range, from that with that power, I need him to shuffle his feet and pick that ball up, keep the ball, and then start to play again, right? And he did get the deflection. If he has shuffled his feet, he gets there and he parries it out. Like you know what I mean? Like like like. Yeah, that's. I mean, it gets a deflection. Everybody, everybody fell asleep though. It gets Go a deflection. But that, that's not like a, a worldly banger from shoe from that distance. Nah, that shit was trash. That's some type of shit I shoot. And I'm not yeah. a professional player, dog. Two, two fucking 
two plays, bro, where the whole team and and, and we we're talking about this on Discord, uh, like on maybe maybe the same day, whenever fuck we were talking about it. And and I, and I, and I said it like, you can't blame one single player here. You got to blame this whole fucking team because the whole the whole team fell asleep. Right, whether it's a fucking yell to to get back a position, whether it's you actually like hustling to get back a position, like the whole team fell asleep. And now we're down two zero at the half when we shouldn't be. Mm -mm. No, right, like, I think I think we should be up, and at the very minimum, we should be up. We, we should be at a draw. No, no. Yeah. But you fell asleep and you gave away two fucking two. Fell asleep twice. Two plays. Twice, bro. Easily, if we didn't score, because we didn't score in the first half. That first half should have ended zero zero. Yeah. Cause we cause we were unlucky about not putting them shit away, or we were yeah. not good at putting them away. Whatever you want to call it, that half should end zero zero. Cause Seattle, that first half did not bring anything to the table up until we fucking fell asleep on two plays. Until we get opportunities, they, right? Yeah, and we took advantage. It was it's like self sabotage. Yep, it's, I, it's to me that's what it was. It wasn't like Seattle was the fucking better team in either half. They were not. They just put away the chances that we gave them. I agree. Um, yeah, it's two zero at the half, though. Uh, you know, give credit credit is due. Yeah, Seattle that's has two shot true. two two chances and they put them away. The Galaxy you know used to play like that against when hmm. uh, Bruce Arena was coach. Yeah. Straight up, we had one That's... shot, one shot all game with Bruce, but that one shot went in. We won one zero games or win by one goal. That's that used to be when we were good. Now we play better. <laughs> we can't finish. <laughs> um, I, I here. Let, let me just touch on on Klinsman this first half though, because this guy is, is he he could distribute the ball a whole lot better than than Jonathan Bond. Um, there, there's one ball where he gets he gets played back to him. There's a little bit of pressure, not too much pressure, and he ends up like putting a really good, uh, driven ball to 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 a wider. I think it's Caligari who ends up receiving it, and that sparks like an attacking opportunity. We've seen Bond try that shit over and over again. I think uh, episode two of the season, we're talking about how Bond tried it five times, and five times it went over and outside and outside, right? Like him being able to do that, like you see the difference because now you got the team moving. In an instance, right? Um, I like that Bond. I mean, in Klinsman, though, like he also has Bond on fucking coming off of crosses. Oh yeah, hundred percent with the broken finger. Like he, th there was a ball in that gets crossed, and and it's traffic in there. There's there's Seattle players, there's his own defenders, and he's he's the one that comes up, punches the ball away, and he's back on his feet on in the goal. Like I. I don't recall seeing Bond ever come out and do that comfortably. Like, he's done it. I'm not saying he hasn't done it, but, like, every time he does it, like, it seems a little uncomfortable for him, right? Klinsman, on the other hand, like, he, he's done it. Is Klinsman shorter than Bond? Or is he taller than Bond? Do you know? Okay. He like, but, like, it, it's to his advantage because he, he did that and all that. Oh, like, that's nice to see. Like, he, full confidence coming out there. I like it. it that was good. Um. Unfortunately, I, I still have to notch him for, for that goal because I think he, he should yeah. shuffle his feet. Uh, let's move into the second half because here's something bon, uh, here's something Vanny never does. And I wish George was here so he could talk so he could talk about this and shit. Um, but coming in, starting the second half, there's a change. Uh, Memo comes out and 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 President Jack comes in. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. You see, you see, this a, you see, this a halftime. What? What's your thoughts? Like, what do you think that the team looks like at that point? Like, how is the formation happening? I thought happening? we were going, I don't know how, but I thought we were going to go into like a 4 4 2 or something. Mm -hmm. But we go into three in the back, and he plays Calagheri at uh, RCB. But he gives them the freedom to 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 play to move Pressure up. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. It was a it was a weird formation, but I mean a weird formation on paper just because Calagheri is a fucking right back, not a center back. But he fucking gambled on it, and Judd was able to create space for Jovalich, and he yeah. put a lot of fucking a lot of pressure and I don't know bro it was 
I don't know what it was, but it was fucking. It was. It worked out for us. I, for 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 me, I th- I think the one thing that benefits um um Jovalik so much when 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 Judd is playing, especially the way they played, like where they're you know, actually, first of all, I thought it was gonna be Jovalik moving out moving out right, yeah, moving out really. wider, and and and, and Judd being like our our point man, right? Well, yeah. I got that one wrong. Because it was, it was a Preston who was out wide, and and Jovala continued to be our our main man down the middle. But the difference is, every time every time Preston gets the ball, he's he turns and goes. He wants to go at goal, right? And if he sees Jovala open, he'll give him the ball and then run, right? He also understands that when when Jovala gives him the ball and he's running, that's what he's looking for. And I think especially because it came at the, at the first half, it it knocked it knocked Seattle like in their ass. Immediately the first, like in the start of the second half, right? Because they came at them with a lot more, a lot more pace, and and, and with two strikes, wanted to score. Like you saw, you saw Judd from the jump. Like he, you know, he went in there and, and, and he wanted that. Um, so I, I I liked it. I you know I, from the jump, I liked it. I, I liked the link up that 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 Judd and and Jovalik had. What I did notice though was because of that, I thought Boyd was less impact from the second half. All right, like like that that turn and run uh, that Jovalik and, and and Preston had. Oh, didn't like, he move to uh, Boyd down the middle the, to the to the right? Or am I tripping? No, I think you're tripping. I think they still stayed. Not because Raheem's on the left. So why would Boyd be be on the left? Okay, so... I I can't remember to be honest with you. But I lost track of where Tyler Boyd was playing. Yeah, I, I, I might be, I might, I might get the wings inverted the way, the way I saw it, or the way I'm talking about it. But the case was like boy, like not missing, missing, but like he was definitely not the influential. That he didn't have the influence he had in the first half over the game, right? Uh, I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad thing because yeah. I, I thought, you know, what I mean, like I thought it came out and and looked a lot more dangerous. Um. And it was finding space, which was what I really liked. Um, but then Preston, just bro, oh yeah, all that, huh? <laughs> but then Preston has a, has a clear opportunity uh, created by by, by Caligari. Like Caligari picks with the ball and and out dribbles, I think two or three players, and then puts it like a smooth through ball in for him, uh, yeah. in it, you know, in his trajectory, in the space. Fry comes out, but let me ask something. You think he should have done better there? Hundred percent, hundred percent. What are you supposed bro. to do there? What are you supposed to do there? Talk to me about that, right? Because that, uh, yeah, talk to me about that. I think you could find the the second post. I think you. He looks at it. You, I think he tries to. I think he hit it wrong, or I All think right. he kind of he kind of rushed. Maybe not rush his shot's not the right word because I think he he shot when he had to. But you know, maybe his composure wasn't there. Something was off. But there ain't no way that you shoot it at the keeper's chest. Yeah. Keep it low. Yeah. Keep it low. Or p- try to put it under his or legs. High. Or, or go high, know. right? Yeah. Or go over top beans. Not at his fucking chest. You know. I, I personally I would have liked to see him try to put it on the second post. I mean, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. I don't want to fucking sit here and say, yeah, I could. Th- th- no, I cannot do that shit, bro. But it tried. It to opened up for him point. for a second. Uh, at one yeah. point, I think it opened up for him. Um, so here, like, I, I, I brought that up because in in my notes, I that's the question I have, right? Like, do you think that because last week or against Portland, he he does look for a second post, and it goes just wide and nicks up the post. Um, my question is, do you think like that has anything to do with it, right? Because it seemed like he looked at it like, like and not even catch that like when I when I saw it in real time, I caught that like when I watched the highlights today. Uh, he looks at second post, like there's a look at there, there's a look at second post, and he decides to go near near post, and again it ends up in, in his chest. Uh, but do you think that you know last week last week's miss had anything to do with him not not going for second post? Possibly, but as a striker, you cannot be thinking yeah. about what happened. You know, you have uh, to. As a player, you gotta shake shit off. It's a new game. Next new play, old. next play, yeah. baby. Fuck the game. Next play. You know what I mean? Like, you can't short term memory as fuck. I agree, man. I agree. And and again, I I I wrote this down like without seeing like the highlights and, and kind of getting that or actually pay attention to the second angle where where you see like he, he you know 
his body shape moves and you see him look at the second post, comes back down and decides to go uh, near post into his chest. Yeah. Um, but that's a missed opportunity, man. Another one. Yeah. And, 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 that's, and that's where... Man, like... Both Preston and, and Joe, like, man. They both had, like, opportunities. And so far, man, like, we're, we're in the mud right now. Oh. All right? Over here, let, let, let me pull this up real quick. We, we have a total of three goals. A total of three goals scored so far. Uh, what does all those three goals have in common? What do they have in common? Talk to me. No, you can't think of the top of your head. Raheem? No. Nah. What, what is it? They're all scored by defenders. Word? Oh, no, no. Jovali scored the first one, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, on goal. Like, on goal. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, but it, it is, but you're right, though, right? Like, we, we have, uh, and we'll get to it right now. Neil scored his goal, and then. Um, who else scored? Leardham scored the last one. Leardham. Yeah, and Leardham, right? Like, so... We have our defenders all uh, scoring our strikers. Yeah, and, it's a, and, and, and that's really where it comes down to it. Like, I, and I'm not... Man, it, it... I do think that, like, you know, what we've started the season with it when it comes to personnel has affected us, right? Um, and I think, like, with if you add the quality... Yeah, better quality. And even like if you add like this type of play, if these boys could play like this versus versus KC and versus uh, Portland and versus like everybody else we've drawn to, I think Jovalik and, and Jeff have better opportunities, right? Yeah. What's very clear though is like that they can't they can't clutch up. They can't carry this team, right? Did you don't want to score a goal or two here or there? Like for the opportunities they've missed? Or I mean the the the, the opportunity person had this this game. She didn't put that away. Hundred percent. Right? Like top, like he, he put the top. Yeah. Yeah. Roof that he shit. The fucking second post. He yeah. Um he clutch up. He you know, I mean like Vanny in the Vanny in the post in the post game talked about grinding it out. And and I really believe that. Like I think that's where we're at right now, which is unfortunate because it's the start of the season. But we are in grind mode because of the fucking because of all the injuries and personnel that we have missing. If you have Cheech, though, he could clutch up in these moments, right? Yeah. And we're looking at three more points at any one of these games versus Vancouver versus, or at least another po- a point uh, versus Seattle, right? At very minimum. So that's, I think really that's where we're at right now, man. Like our, our striking options that are not Chicharito are not good enough to carry us on a bad day. Yeah. I, think I, think, I think both of them are, are talented enough to, to put goals away on a good day, but on a bad day, we don't have somebody to look forward to. The fucked up part about it is that we don't even have that coming off the midfield either, right? Like it's not, it's not a, it's not Boyd because he ain't carrying it, he ain't clutching up. Pooch is not even clutching up right now. Pooch is trying though. Bro. Yeah, he's trying. I'm, I'm not hating, but he's saying he's not clutching up though, right? Like he's not coming through, right? Because how many goals does he have? Zero. Yeah, he ain't clutching, uh, clutching up. I, I, I'm not, I'm not saying that he's not doing his job. I'm not saying that he's not, you know. I'm not saying he ain't the one. I'm just saying that he's not clutching up right now. He, there's nobody in our team right now that's that's putting something extra, something special to get us dubs, to get us real points, right? Because right now we're we're winless in five. Um, let's let, let's talk let's talk about um let's talk about the goal because uh, Fry had a, Fry had himself a game. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he made a lot of important blocks. I think it was big. I mean, we just we we're just talking about the Preston one. It was you know. A lot, of, a, a lot of impressive for putting it on his chest, but also like Fry comes out and closes that, closes that, uh, you know, that space up quick. Uh, so he has a really dope game, except for this one play. Uh, that cross comes in, and he just fumbles it, right? I, I know it goes to yeah. traffic, and it goes in, and, and, and it kind of gets at, gets at him fast, but like he just kind of fumbles it. Shout out to Neil for staying up there and 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 poking it in, and I mean, again, another different scoring. But Fry just gifted them, gifted us that goal. Because it just, like, it, it, the way he attacks it, he kind of just fumbles it and puts it right back. Um, but we needed that goal, though. 
Yeah. Right, we needed, we definitely needed that goal because that goal when comes we, in. And... My bad. When we score okay. that goal, the way that we have been playing up until then, I was like, oh, we're at least getting a draw. Out. Mm-hmm. At least it, it felt like that. Yeah. Um. That makes that that makes Seattle Seattle react because they come in with with two uh, defensive substitutions like shortly after that. Nohu comes in and uh, Vargas comes in. Uh, but fuck, man! Like it, it just it became that game again where it's not unlocking. You know what I mean? It's it's it, we're there. We're knocking. This chances being created. I have chances sometimes, uh, but we're there. Like man, the some of the ball movement is just dumb. Some of the ball movement is just dumb. There's, there's a play where I think Mark, I think it's Marky who 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 back heels back heels a ball into like so much space. I think I want to say it's for uh, who did he find with so much space? Point is like like they're moving the ball in in and finding crazy amount of space and just kind of moving Seattle back and forth. But there's never like that clear clear opportunity in front of all for for somebody to take a shot or or. Or put in that driven for for a tap and nothing like that. It's just it's not cre- not not happening in the seventieth minute. We get a fucking answer. The guy who we've been waiting for, he's not leaving. He's fucking staying. Look, let's go to come in in the seventieth minute. Um, no, I, uh, uh, so Banny talks about how this fool has dropped some weight and mm-hmm. looked like his Byron self. I was like, man, I can't wait for this motherfucker to come on the field and be a little fat fuck like oh, no, Chicken Nugget uh, Dog. Uh-huh. Motherfucker comes out. He legit looks like he's in fucking shape. He look younger, huh? <laughs> he look younger somehow. God, damn. And uh-huh. I'm like, dog, how does this motherfucker with bad hamstrings, bad ankles, and bad calves? Fucked up habits. <laughs> fucked up habits and always eating now and shit. Look like that. And oh, yeah. a 19-year-old kid can't fucking do that. <laughs> Everything ties yeah. back down to the person I don't want to speak about. Well, that, but I mean, to your point though, right? Like I see him, I see him in in, in the touchline, and I'm like, oh, like it's 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 visible. At least to me, it's visible, right? Like he does it's look 100% in shape. Visible compared to how we ended the playoffs last season, he looked a little stocky. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. came in this game, and I don't know because I haven't seen this fool in like a year. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> yeah. But, but this man looks like. He's in serious business, serious shape. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. And so, same, right? I I heard is Baddy talking about um, oh, he he looks like his Byron himself, yada yada yada. And I got a little Georgia in me, and I'm like, of course he's saying that. That's your man. So you have to back him up, right? Like I'm I'm not believing this shit at all. I'm like super yeah. skeptical about this shit. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm not believing this shit. But then I seen him in touchline, and he looks apart. Yeah. Right, I I haven't seen him touch the ball. I haven't seen him make a one run, anything. But he looked the part, right? I mean, you said it like rewind one week and we saw the seven come in and he didn't look the part. Right? Yeah. He looks the part, and I'm ex- I'm excited because again, like even worse comes to worse is Douglas Costa, right? Like that defender is gonna gonna pay extra attention now. There's somebody in that vicinity named Douglas Costa, and you have to pay attention to him, right? I'm excited to see that. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't take long for him to to show us a little something. Yeah. Right? Uh because there's a there's a dead play. This ball is like near near the end line. The defender kind of looks like yeah. he's gonna he, he looks like he's gonna be out there just kind of make sure it goes not, out, right? Not any defender. I'm oh, about like the fastest defender in the league. Nuhu? Was that Nuhu? I, I, that's it gonna mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so, fastest so, defender in the league. Yeah. Douglas Costa takes a touch. He goes end line. And it looks long. And know who's chasing him down, and he takes a touch in. Dog, know who got cooked? Yeah. Well, listen. Let me, let me let me go back like to that first touch, right? Because like, how often have you seen that play go right back? Like it, it gets rotated back, right? Like and, and, and yeah. start over again, right? I, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. But we don't have anything like like that difference. That going left instead of passing back. That little cut. Even if it didn't come out right, like that little cut was different. I haven't seen that the whole season. Right, Pooch, Pooch, is, Pooch is dribbling and, and moving is different than that. Like it's not, it's not that. You know what I mean? Like that, right there. Like 
shitted on 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 a really good defender. Not only not only did that like first touch shit on him, the way he approached getting the ball and then taking that second touch and getting inside the box. Like you were saying, like like no who like completely was out of the picture at that point. Like that second touch is like kind of completely threw him off. I think he comes in and does the right thing, looks for looks for the driven pass down down the gut. And this is the flexion and it ends up being whatever it ends up being. Yeah. But it was quick and and, and that was it was a difference maker. Like again. Seattle is bunkering and there's a lot of legs there, so it's a deflection. But like the fact, like two touches is inside the box, right? Two touches in, in the other direction, like he could be in, in in the box looking for a shot. Like it was different. It, it, I'm not getting hyped over that though because no, no, because although I like that and I think he had he had good movement, I think he had good ideas. He's definitely quality. You can see like the passing and some of the touches is just the way they're coming out of his feet is different than what we than what we have on the field. But it didn't take long for him for 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 it to be apparent that he doesn't have the 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 pressing or defensive energy he does for the attacking attacking side, right? Um, and I think that's gonna be that's gonna hurt us. I don't I don't know how I, how I we can be successful I, without that. I don't agree with you there, though. I think it talk to me in the second half. Obviously, oh well, when he came on, we already fully forward. We're playing three at the back. Obviously, Douglas Costa is not gonna play wide in a three-man back yeah. line. so i think in our first half formation it might work out with him on the field because we have calaieri on that side mm-hmm. we know that def- he's defensively sound and he runs up and down a lot a lot and he could cover the space i think in that obviously if in that three-man back line douglas costa out wide he's not going to drop back defensively you know, even if he wanted to, he's just coming back from injury as well. I don't, I don't want to expect him to. At, at least I didn't expect it for him to for, expect him to do it in the second half. At least this game, maybe in the future if he's if he stays healthy. But I mean, you don't really though, right? Like, like, like I'm not, I'm not expecting Dulles to do that. And, and again, yeah. I'm not, and that's not even me talking shit. Right, it's just yeah. like I don't expect Dude to do that. Like that's not what he's what he's there for. And but I, but now when you couple that with 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 um, Brugman wanted to be more in the attack and doing less of the defensive shit, and we saw that because he fell asleep in two matches. And then you have um, uh, Mark Delgado being the same, right? Mar- Mar- Delgado, Mar- Delgado ended up with four shots. That's more than than Prestige and that's more than than Jovalik. They each had three. Right, so when you have our two midfielders, because I don't expect that I don't expect Butch to be the one putting in the press. First of all, like like you know, my my kid has no body to to actually put a press like that, right? So I expect my other two midfielders to do that shit. But now you're gonna add uh uh Costa to that mix. And listen, I like Caligari, but Caligari ain't got the pace either though. Like he, he my man's gonna get burned. Like you know what I mean? Like I think yeah. we need a better shape for him not to get burned. So I don't expect him to be able to cover all that space that Douglas Costa, um, Mark Delgado and Brookman at this moment are leaving. That's why I'm scared of it because I like I like I like what going forward. Oh, yeah, I think, I, you know, I, I get that you're scared of it, but you got to look at the at the situation and the moment of the game. At the moment, of, in that moment, yeah. we were looking yeah, for yeah. the draw. We're at home. We were close. Yeah, no, you no, know, I, we, were, we were dominating. It's 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 probably situational. Is the better word for it? No, right? I, it I agree. Situation. So it, it, you know. it, I I'm not even. Yeah, I I know. I, I agree with you 100. percent and this is more kind of just going going forward, like because now oh, he's available, right? Like that's what I was thinking at, like, and that's why I was brought that up. He's but. Fully fit, uh, he might, you know, we'll see Tyler Boyd on on left and Douglas Costa on, on the right. I mean, it's for sure. I don't want to say it's for sure because I don't want to fucking get hyped on Douglas Costa, but for sure it's better than effort. It's quality and, there, um, though. Like I, th- again. It, even vision wise, like he does, he does a thing where like he cuts in early. Like he he's a uh, you know he split the mid- midfield and he's you know halfway there and he cuts in early because of his left foot, right? But then he does like this driven curve ball, like like towards yeah. the left, and it, it doesn't get there, right? The, the pass doesn't get there, but like that that vision, that look, is different than what Pooch gives us. It's different than what uh, than what everybody else is giving us right now, and it's quality. Like you see, like again, it's, and he's a good set piece taker too. I'll give him the, that much. The, the, the way the way he took on with the way he creates that play, right, at the end line, the way he makes that pass is 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 different than what we've been having so far. 
And I said it all, multiple times, especially the game versus Portland, the game against uh, Vancouver. Like, we need some difference sometimes because we're there. We're knocking on it. We're, we're creating all kinds of issues. But, like, the defense at one point gets used to what we're doing. So we need something different. And I think he provides that. And if you add that, like, for over 90 minutes, 75 minutes, if, if we're going to be realistic or whatever, like, I think it works, man. I just, I, I kind of want to see what the defensive side looks at this. Um, but, again, I've been talking about it in, in you know, I know it comes off an excuse, but I think this is like this is what I'm talking about. Like the quality now is is different. Yeah, the quality right now is different. Um, to me, like in quality, quality or not, to me the the positive, the only positive thing from from uh, DC for me at least right now, because he has to prove me wrong otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yep, is that he's in shape. Yeah, I, can, I, I cannot yep. take that away from him. He worked hard to get down to bring down his weight and that to me says he cares enough i'm not saying he cares like a hundred percent and he wants to change his image but he cares enough to where he's like Fuck, put in the you work know what? maybe i'm a little bit overweight to play here and i took this shit a little too lightly i should probably be in better shape to play yeah. so that i can't take away from him that i'm excited about and hopefully he could turn the image that he has around moving forward. Yeah, right? Because because for what it's worth, this is the first time we see him in, in that kind of shape. Yeah. Right, so we'll see what it goes, uh, you know, what he does going forward this season. Um, to wrap up this game, we have a pair of substitutions at the, at the end, at the 83rd minute, really trying to go after it. Uh, we pull Caceres and Edwards and we bring in uh, Chris Mavinga and, and Johnny Paris. Uh, first time we see Johnny Paris come out, uh, which I was kind of excited about. Yep, uh, I was I was excited about that, uh, and I'm going right into it. I was excited for it, but I also felt a little let down. Why? I think it because I think it took him a little bit to to get him to get involved, right? I think I felt, and again because I was you know vested interest in it because I wanted to see what he could actually do. I, we've been talking about like bring me some different, give me some different with Johnny Perez, um, and I think he he might have like cowered from from the moment a little bit in the beginning. Like where he wasn't, so. I don't think he was getting open enough, like to, or in asking for a ball, right? Like when and, and there was opportunities for that. That part, that part especially, there was opportunities for him to kind of ask for the ball because he was already in a white spot and he kind of just took a step back or or or, or dropped in again. Maybe it was Vanny, but I I kind of the way I saw it, I was like I wanted him to to ask for the ball. Um, I think it took him a little bit when he finally got there, like. We saw some. We saw him like he he was able to find space, but then I again I felt like instead of putting it across or driving in again, like he he came back and gave a pass. Um, so I wanted to see more aggressiveness toward from him. He took a shot. Yeah. Other than that, I, I, and again I think that one, I'm not mad at the shot because because the kid like you know it was, it was the last shot of the game, and he, he said fuck it I'm gonna take it. I'm not mad at it. But I kind of would kind of would have wanted to see that cross, right? Because we had bodies in there. Uh, yeah, but again, I'm not I'm not hating on that shot. Like it, he's brave it enough to take it. Being a little too harsh. No, I'm I, no no, I, and I'm not like I just I'm just saying like I wanted, I had I wanted to see it, right? Like I I, I wanted to have. Hey, look, Neo's come on and he's done exactly what yeah. I what, what I wanted to, like what I imagined. The difference, the difference uh -huh. here, though, and you might disagree with me all you want, but he's a. Uh, right midfielder or right winger they or left wing or whatever you want mm -hmm. but they put him at left wing back so maybe he but not really take... like he, he, he was he, 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 he he the yeah but look at the positions he, they, they found them though right that's what i'm talking about like here again i thought he took him a little too long to get involved and really start like pushing that and asking for a ball there and i thought when he finally got there I, th I wanted him to be a little more aggressive because he actually you know find them out wide and and he he didn't see the space so he passed back Again, playing it safe, right? I don't think he did wrong. I wanted him to be more aggressive, right? I wanted to see again. I can't compare him to Douglas Costa, but like that effect that Douglas Costa had when he came in, like he was aggressive, he went for it. I wanted to see that when he had opportunities. Uh, and again, he did it then, right? Because he took the shot, he took it upon himself to take the last shot of the game. Uh, he put it on frame. Not gonna be right with that, but he took it upon himself. So like, I'm not, in his, I'm not super upset, but I wanted to. Like, I, it's more of like, yeah. I wanted you more want that, than than him doing something wrong. You know, what I mean, I, I don't want to come off like I'm like I think he did something wrong. I just ah, you know, what I mean, I wanted something different. I want, I want to see limelights, bro. I want to see little sparkles. Because again, the only player right now on this fucking team that's making me feel some type of way 
it's fucking Neil, right? Because the the kid is like doing what he needs to do, man. Um, doesn't fucking matter. We end up losing this game two one. Mm. About to play hurt, better, yeah. But why? Why, why, hurt, why does it hurt? It hurt because it well, didn't hurt too much. So I was expecting, <laughs> I was expecting the loss, but it hurt because we were dominant. Mm. Yep. But it didn't hurt as much. Like I seen people on Twitter like overreact and be upset, and it's like this is the one game that they've played so far, where I felt like the guys gave it like a hundred and ten percent, and no one looked like they fucking, except for those two moments, right? Yeah. Where they fell asleep. I think the whole team, everyone that played, gave it like a hundred percent. And I can't be mad at that. Well, see, like, I can't be mad. You gave me, you gave me, I know that we have not won a game this season, but I'm not going to be mad if you give me 100%. And, you know, to the final fucking whistle, you attack, attack, attack. It shit just doesn't go in. I'm not mad at that, bro. You gave me 110%. What the fuck am I going to be mad about? Damn, your motherfuckers didn't try. Your motherfuckers turned your back on the team. No, no one did that. Everybody went out. They tried to the very end from minute one to the 90th minute. You cannot say the Galaxy did not attack. They couldn't score. It's a different fucking story. You could be mad at that shit. But I'm not too upset with the result because one, Seattle's back. Mm -hmm. And two, we were better than Seattle except for two moments in the fucking game. And the boys gave me 100%. And that's all I've ever asked for. Like, I want them to give me give me that bro so i'm i'm all right, i'm all right with it I'm i right. i nah man i i'm i'm mad i don't even know if mad is the right word nah but but but, but we just we just stuck in, in 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 a fucking in a time loop son i promise you we said the same shit last year when we played seattle at seattle in the beginning of the season i promise you it was similar to what the fuck we're saying right now Right, that's what that's what I'm frustrated. That's what I'm mad about is the fact that last year when we played Seattle at Seattle, I said, "Man, this team, this team got something." We played a really good team, and we only lost because of set pieces. That's what I said last two set pieces. That's why we lost lost last season. This season, I'm saying we, we lost because of two moments. Don't fucking change. Same shit. But what's really upset is the fact that we could do this, but but then we play some like you know what I mean again. Look, KC is bad. And that team like played better than us, right? Like, like it's this swing of like, let's figure this out. Again, we have some additions. I, I think this start of season is fucked because of the, uh, the personnel. Yeah, it's just frustrating because it feels it, it feels I'm like we're in a time loop. Because I I told myself like I'm not gonna be upset till the fucking till I for I know for sure that our roster's locked. If our <laughs> if our roster's locked, and we play like the first game of the season, or we play like we played against KC. I'll be fucking mad. Like, why didn't you bring the right players? But up until that transfer market's still open, and I know the roster's not 100% complete, and there's still people on the way, like, I'm, I can't, I can't be upset. Yeah. I, I can't um, be upset. And it's not like we lost. Cause we, like, how many times have we seen the G's not, like, just give up? Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, I, I, I'll give you that much, right? Like, it, it seems like that's not in our DNA anymore. Right, because I haven't seen that in a while. Right, like I didn't see it last season. I didn't see it in a while. Um, I, again, I, 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 there's things I do like because I do like the fact that we came in from minute one and, and said this is how we play. This is our house, and this is how we're gonna play. Right, and it worked for a lot of the time. We're the better team. Unfortunately, this game is all about scoring, and we haven't figured that part out. Seattle did. They had a few chances. Here, let me. I, I, I'm just. It doesn't fucking matter. But twenty eight shots to nine. Is the is how this game ended. Um, we had ninety percent pass pass accuracy with like sixty percent possession. Like, is what the Galaxy want to play? So, like, I, 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 fuck the stats. I, I, you know, I don't want to go into that argument. But it is what the, it is what they is what they're trying to do, and is what they did, right? So, like, everything but the fucking result. Yeah, we move. We move. We move. We got. Uh, we get. We got to talk about Houston now because we go up to Houston and we, God, we know we love Houston. 
let's talk about this though. Let's talk about this. I want to start off with lineups before we go anywhere else, right? You had a scoop from from our from our solar our source. Trust me, fool. I don't know how accurate. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, you know what though? This man's never lied to me. He's never. I don't think he's ever been wrong. He ain't doing no wrong. <laughs> All right. Um. So let's talk about it, right? Klinsman would. Klinsman with a broken pinky. I'll tell you this. It's a broken pinky. You tape it up. I think it go. I think it go. I don't think I don't think this is unless it's like broken in 18 different places and he has that like a bionic pinky or some shit like that. I don't think he I don't think it's really gonna put him out. Um so I think yeah, he I don't goes. Think he's gonna let the opportunity go. And shout yeah. out to Christmas for that shit too, bro. That just shows mm-hmm. the type of motherfucker he is, bro. Mm-hmm. Not a lot and of how? motherfuckers would play. Um, and cop uh, out. I, I fuck with it. I, I it could be an easy ass cop out. Yeah, I got a broken I finger, dog. I play goalkeeper and I got a broken finger. Ain't nobody mad at you if you, if you sing out a game. But shout out to Klinsman. And I think he, listen, he he would have had a, a, a dope game except for two moments. So let's see if we could do it better against Houston. So I think he's he's a goal center back pairing. I don't think it changes at all. I would not touch my CB pairing. My right back is going to be Caligari. Now, a source has said that Raheem might have got an injury today at practice. Mm-hmm. Aude is still not confirmed to be here, right? As a Tuesday yeah. night, April 4th, 10 p.m. Still not here. But he's here. Can't confirm nothing. <laughs> um, what are we doing? What are we doing? What do you got to tell you uh, right now? If Edwards is... Not healthy and um, fuck, that's tough, bro. And if all this not here, I'm going three in the back from the jump, huh? Against Houston, I'm down. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think uh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, I might go three in the back if that's the case. If all this here and he gets enough time to practice a couple days, shit, I'm throwing him straight in the fucking lineup. All right. Um. So if he's available. Here, if if Edwards is healthy, then they're not changing at all. Then Ed, um, Edwards is playing there, yeah, right. Uh, Edwards is playing there, and that's our back line. If he's not available, and Uday is available, then we throwing him out of the left back. If Edwards is out and Uday is not out, is not available, we're going three in the back. That's your call. I'm going three in the back. Yeah, who's your three in the back? I, we go three in the back. It's gonna be um. Jalen Neal, Martin Cáceres, and Mavinga. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go into like thinking about how the rest of the lineup would look like because I think we we'll get a little sloppy. So let's go, let's go ahead and, and, and let's go with the back four. Let's go with the back four of Edwards if he's healthy, Ude if he's available, or Paris yeah. because we have nobody else, or Aguirre because that's what we put him out there too. Either way, I, I think it's still be a back four. I don't think we'll we'll go into a back three. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be a back three. I think the, the midfield stays the same. It's going to be Brookman, Delgado, and Pooch bearing in the injuries. Uh, it's going to be Cheech? Not Cheech in here, yeah. Cheech, you got to wait. Like, we all Cheech until, until Levas? Striker already? Because I'm going to talk uh, about wingers right now, but I, but I want to talk about striker because uh, I think that's a easier conversation. Uh, Joe. Joe will look up front. Yeah, I agree. If Cheech uh, is back, he's going to get the Douglas Costa treatment. Come in, come in. Second half, 65, 70th minute. He's coming in. Get a run. Get a run. Check his shit out. And get ready for Levas next week, the week after. Yeah. Yeah, I I agree with you. Uh, So so let's talk about who who our white players are or or, or attacking white players. I don't know how white they are, but talk to me. What you think of there? Like, Boyd is in. Right? I think that's that's uncontested right now. Nobody else. In that position that I contest it right now, I think. Um, and then who comes in? Is it gonna be Memo? Are we giving Douglas Costa the jump? Is it gonna be Efra? Costa is ready for 90 minutes. Douglas Costa is gonna start for me. No, I think he's ready for 65 minutes. He starts for me. Hmm. Right? If I if I know you I know you give me I know you give me 75, I put him and out Memo for 65. Came from Houston, right? Yep. I might give him the nod. Fuck his old team up. Um 
But that's you, 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 uh, you agree though. Like we want the Willis to be the starter, right? Like, want we want him to, to be the first jump. What this team looks like with a fit Douglas Costa on one wing and a close to a hundred percent Tyler Boyd, fitness wise, looks like on the other wing. Yep. Yeah. And I think I think like let, let them get going, but I think you get some some freedom there where they can move around. And inner swap, you know. Yeah, uh, but I agree with you. Like that, that's what I would like. I would like to see Dulles Costa and Boyd out there. Um, again, if it is Memo, like Memo, the last couple of games seemed like to figure out how to play in this in the position. So, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, and we're also playing Diamond, and we're also playing the Houston Dynamo. Like, <laughs> I was gonna talk shit about 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 the Dynamo. But then I remember how bad uh, yeah, they're, they're above when they're above us and and two it's Houston like you know what I mean like I, I don't have many good stories about us going to Houston and and getting a dub but they're they're not that that's you yeah yeah I, I I know but like that was that's an outlier right from the last few years that's an outlier uh but let's go like they're they lost three but they have two doves. Uh, they just lost to to the to the earthquake. Earthquakes are solid this year. Oh, shut up. They ain't solid. It just started the year. They, you <laughs> bugger. They fuck, fuck out of here. Dog. They're fucking out of here. Fuck out of here. Um, uh, what are we thinking, dog? Like, I should should be shook. Should, is there, is there something there? I mean, Hector sure. Herrera, Arthur, in in in, I are. Actually, actually, Arthur and Reynes, Reynes, I don't know, I don't know who he is, versus Delgado, Brutman, and, and, and Pooch. I'm only worried about Acha Acha. Um, you should be worried about what you mean. Acha Acha is a fucking deep, blind playmaker, bro. Yeah, yeah, but I think it closes him down. I think that the team moves enough to close him down. I think he gets the space to do what he needs to do. That's the thing. Like in the midfield, I think we can win balls. Though. Like you know, what I mean, we we contest like the balls pretty saying, pretty quick I mean, in the midfield. Though. It's not better. I'm just saying. I'm worried about yeah. Acha. That's it. I hope he gets hurt. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I'm just totally kidding. Don't tell me. I just told you. Um, Franco, Baird, and Bassi. They're attacking front. Bassi got pace. Baird is washed, and he's gonna score on us because I just said that shit. Yeah. <laughs> And who was the other guy? Franco. Franco what? I Franco. I, I don't know. I'm just. I'm just looking at who, who, who oh, played this last weekend. Fuck. Uh, he got Franco. Some, yeah, he got pace. Right national team. Yeah. I just remember they got signed this season. Yeah, I'm a little worried, but I'm not too worried. Uh, I think we should. I think we should be fine. Ivan. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got. They got a. They got a. I mean, they have a they have Dennis Stairs in the back line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, man, I don't. I hear you, Acha Acha. I don't. I think we close him down so he doesn't have the the chance to put, hurt us. Um, Sup, Zerga? After what I saw this weekend, I'm not really stressing Houston. I feel like it's a winnable game. Mm-hmm. Away. Uh, it, it's gonna be tough. Away games are fucking tough in MLS. I don't care what anyone says. It could be a fucking shit team. Away games are tough. Um, but I think it's a very winnable game. Talk to me. I think we we have the better team. I right. <laughs> not look it on the table right now. But I feel like we have better players than Houston. In I agree. Every sense. I agree. So uh we're about to catch his dub this weekend. Be Let's first go. <laughs> you know? What's the score? What's the score line? What's the score line? Talk to me the score line. Talk to me the scores for you. How did we end last last year? The one that took us into fourth place? Was it a two one? Or two zero? Three one. Three one? Three one, I think it was. Uh, I wanna say three one. I think we're winning three one. Who scores? I think Jove Jove gets two Fuck yeah. this weekend. And my third one, I think uh, Ricky Pooj gets on the board too. Yeah. 
I think this is the game to to do it. Yeah, I I don't think we'll do three one. I think it's two one, and I think it's I think it's John Lake too though. Um, yeah, but I need I need I need Pooch to be the one that's who's setting him up. I wouldn't be mad if it's Pooch and, and DC who set him up because I want I want like, these players to start making an impact and giving some production. So. I'll say two one. You say three one. Uh, I'm gonna call this the fucking Kool Aid, the Kool Aid episode, because if George and Angel are here, we would not be getting these type of fucking predictions. Uh, but that's what you get for being sicky little boys and shit. Um, yeah, uh, we got questions. I think we have a couple questions. Let's, see. Let's pull them up and then we we'll, we'll call this a night. Um, I'll start with the uh, with Twitter. We got Glenn with two ends. My guy says, knowing now the Klinsman's finger was broken during the Portland game, can we blame some of his play against Seattle? And should have played? Yo, I, I don't, again, the only thing I, I give him like some kind of fucking shtick for is, is not shuffling his feet on that second goal. But other than that, like, I, I, I don't think he has anything to do in the first goal. He's caught in no man's land. There's two people coming in in the backside. He's coming in the first goal. He comes out early. He's fucked. He has to stay. That ball that gets crossed in is is it's he can't come out for that. You know what I mean? Like he's not gonna get that. Like so no. I don't think he, I don't think you can blame Klinsman for for any of that shit. And I think it's fucking a big nod to him for playing with a broken pinky. Masa? Uh, I agree with you. I uh maybe the second goal. You can give him a little shit for it. Uh if you want to. I think it's very savable. Uh whole team fell asleep. He fell asleep. Uh but other than that. I think he was okay. I think he did all right. I think, uh, like Rudy said earlier, distribution was on point. Yeah. Uh, coming out for crosses, uh, coming out for corners, he was solid um, mm -hmm. with a broken fucking finger. So yeah. shout out to him for sticking, sticking with it. And like the commercial on the ground said in the com on the chat right now, says Clinton played a second half of Portland game with a broken finger. And he had, like that, he had that, that, that block at the end. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Again. Shout out Klinsman, yo. I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, Danger TRL says, do we have any good wingers? Do we need to wingers to play wide? Uh, I'm telling wingers, you. Define good. <laughs> <laughs> define. Uh, I think we have okay wingers right now. I think we're a solid winger away from... I think we, if we were able to bring in one more solid winger bro i think we could be real competitive in this league this season man i don't even i think we need a player i don't know if we need a winger though yes, right we need look, look 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 uh, here listen me out look look, look at the position Caligari has in the attacking front right like he's always, even when he comes in he's always checking super wide Right, like he's always the white outlet, and again, I think that's what Memo has been 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 benefiting from, is that he doesn't need to be out wide because he has that outlet, uh, you know, a player being white, so the team still be able to stretch other teams. You do the same thing, you mimic the same thing out left, and I don't think you necessarily need fucking wingers, right? You need somebody who could fucking who who could break the lines and, and create chances. Do we need wingers? I don't know. I know you. I know you think we 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 need wingers. I, I believe we need one more because in this in the in the case that <clears throat> the, that gets injured again, let's say Tyler Boyd gets hurt, either or that puts Efra back into the fucking pitcher. Right no, I don't want to see that. Fool. So yes, we're one winger away from being competitive. Uh, let's go. Let's go with John Cena. I almost didn't see that. Um. He says, do you think after Johnny's performance this weekend that ever falls the third in the depth chart? Yeah. Yep. I think the fact that you saw Johnny play, it shows you where Ephraim and Alvarez is in the depth he didn't, chart. He didn't come in. And again, listen, I, I, you know, when we're talking about the game versus versus uh, Seattle, I said I would have liked him to be a little more aggressive. Right? But the, you know what he did do? He didn't lose the ball easy. You know what he did do? He, he didn't put himself in fucked up situations. Where it takes the whole, it takes the rhythm out of the whole team, right? Yeah, he played a little safe, but I don't think he like. He didn't hurt the team in the ways that Efron's hurt the team when he's came in, 
in the 80th minute. Yeah, easy as that. I think he had, he had a shot on goal. I think, yeah, he's he's there. He's definitely third. Um, follow that up. He says, do you think, oh, no, he said, if he is third, you think he's a piece we move in the summer? Man, I thought, I think that was, the, that was the play the whole time. I really thought, I really, I really believe that we were hoping he was some, something that we could showcase him at number seven and then be like, he's yours. Yeah, fuck Come the summer. <laughs> if anyone, anyone wants him. Come get this man right now. Before the window, I'd rather have one less player on my roster. <laughs> right now. Pick this motherfucker up. Take him now. He's a number seven. I mean, you know, number seven is good. I'd rather have an empty number seven. <laughs> um, and we got one last one crypt in here last minute. Glenn with two ends. He says, optimistic question, gang, gang. Definitely optimistic. Uh, if we have three fourths of Bayern. Of Bayern Costa, how serious is this team? Three quarts of Bayern Costa. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, man. If three, if three quarters Bayern Costa means assists or goals, then I think we're straight because we create enough chances to to put them away. Then we're straight. If three fourths Bayern Costa means he could take on a player to dribble. Make some highlight moves and no end production. Then no, we, we're we're in the same fucking place. There's a, there's there's so much. There's so many questions across that. But at least you know, five games in, and he seems healthy. So we'll see. We'll see what we get from him this season. Masa, what's your thoughts on this? Three fourths by Ryan Costa. Ryan Costa. We in there. Good place. We'll be in a good place. I don't know if he, because he's never been a goal scoring, uh, winger. You know, he's never had, like, a high-scoring season, nothing like that. But that means that he's fast, he's dynamic, and will take players on. He'll probably get a couple assists here and there. I think we'll be in a good place. Man, uh, he's he's it, my DP. I need production, baby. I don't need flashing moves. I need, listen, it, it, and, and if it turns out that his flashing moves end up being rebounds for, for Cheech and rebounds for, for Javulik and Pooch clean up, then okay. But like it has to be something because I can't just have a fucking TikTok real player DP though. Yeah. I don't think we have a choice though, right? Like he's here. He's here. Yeah, so he... we have no fucking choice. Um anything on Twitter? Anything on the Instagram? I'll check Instagram. Uh, I don't think we do. Let me check Twitter real quick. I, Cause you had said Twitter, I went to Discord. <laughs> so yeah. <thanks. laughs> My bad. Yeah, I didn't do this shit though. Come on. Let's blame George for this shit. Um, while Masa looks at that, I just want to take a quick second to talk about uh the the stadium. It's over now. I I, I didn't make it out to protest this weekend, but it got the fucking media attention. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check the socials out. We'll retweet it after the show. Uh, but Herc dropped uh dropped another another truth bomb on uh football Americas or whatever whatever it is. Uh, I'm sorry, damn, I should have put that up. I think it's football Americas, right? That's what it's called. Uh, he dropped another 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 truth bomb on uh just random truths uh, on on uh, how this team did not lose because of a, of a bad call, but it lost because of what the culture of the galaxy has been in the last ten years. Really interesting. I uh, saw a lot of articles, even articles in in the in from the UK on Klein out. So for those of you who 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 are down with the protest, I know it's I know it sucks. I know it's been it feels like we need to be back in there. I know you miss it, but man, it's working. Stay strong, man. Strong. Any questions uh, before we get out of here? Uh, no, no questions on Twitter. Dope. With that being said, this is a very sweet episode of Straight from the Stands. I'm your boy Rudy. I'm Smarts on Twitch. I'm Smarts on Twitter. I'm Smarts on the Gram. Peace, love, and G's up. <laughs>